Hey everybody, welcome back to Dead Car Rescue. Been off for a few weeks, had a little back problems. Well, I was on Marketplace and I found something I just couldn't live without. Um, I paid a little more money than I normally pay for old cars. But I took a chance, went and got it, brought it home. And uh, let me show it to you. 1964, it's a four-door. But don't it don't. Don't say I wouldn't have a four-door until you see what I bought. Okay. Now, has it got a six-cylinder? Has it got a V8? Let's see. Well, looky there. It's got a 260 V8 engine. It's got power steering. It's got manual brakes, which the brakes do not work on it. This car is set up for 13 years. Uh, it's got everything that it needs to run. I did check to see if it had points and went and ordered a new set of points just in case. And, and just in case it needs them, I've got them. And I ordered a new master cylinder and I went and picked it up today. As soon as I got home with it, I jumped in the wife's car and took off to the parts store. And uh, it's got a generator. Look at this. I don't know if this was factory or somebody put that on there. And you're going to look at this. Have you seen one of these ever? No connection from here to here. That's, pl that's rubber or whatever, hard plastic. But in order to make the connection, if you want to leave your car and nobody steal it, you buy one of these. I don't see how that really makes a connection, but it does. I guess it does. It's going to need a battery. It does not run, by the way. It ran when he parked it. And, uh, I haven't heard it run. The motor will turn over. I tried that before I bought it. Look at that radiator. See that radiator? It looks like brand new, doesn't it? All right, here's another thing. Look at, look at the paint under this. Look how nice that paint is underneath. And I don't know if it wasn't sprayed, a respray or what, but whoever sprayed it did a really good job of it the lines are good like look at that and look at that grill and the bumper let's take a little walk down the side of it and look here Okay, it's got a 260 V8. It's got factory hubcaps all the way around on it, all four. The tires were new in 2013. So you can tell, that's a Michelin tire, by the way. Somebody put Michelin tires on it. Now, I did notice this little bit right here. I'm not gonna pull that off, but that's, I don't, that is, Solid as can be. Solid as can be. It's a Fire Lane 500. I don't know if that was New Haven, Connecticut, or what on that sticker. But New Haven, this car comes from St. Louis. So is there a New Haven, Illinois? I don't know. Or is there a town called New Haven close by? this guys paints beautiful the only thing I see wrong with it is the rubber needs replacing and like this stuff it's been shut up and it's been, you know so long but look at that seat by the way there is a stain over there on that seat radio delete carpet's kind of faded a little bit but it's still good and then 
underneath looks like brand new. There's not a crack in the glass anywhere. All the glasses are perfect. Let's see if we can get up here and look inside. Well, anyway. This stuff's just coming off, look. Okay. It doesn't smell bad in here. It actually smells like an old car like this used to smell. Radio delete. It's got a little light here. Oh, ain't that cute? Let's see what the ashtray looks like. Something's in here. So I can get this card out of whatever it is. There's something else in there. I don't know what that is. You put that around your cigarettes and smoke them? I don't know. Oh. September 26, 2010. Bluffside General Store, Sunny Hill. Car, truck, and bike cruise. All right. I wish the other fair lane I had all this stuff worked like that. That works really good. Okay, let's see what we got in here. A pair of cool shades. Not for me though. But the inside of the glove compartment looks new. Here's the damage, a mouse hole. And it needs these new. And there's another mouse hole over there. This stuff here does need replacing. I'm sure you can buy that stuff. You can see that one over there. The one over there is in bad shape. But if you look right at the top of that windshield over there by that post that holds that uh, sun visor. See a crack in the rubber? There's a hole there. And water was dripping straight down into the car onto that stuff right there. And it was dripping down on the seat. That's what made the stain in the seat right there. Little automatic car. Let me show you the rest of this. Okay, see the headliner? Other than a little bit of staining, uh, this car looks really nice. Nice back seat, nice carpets. Um, top of it's just just nice that's all I got to say this door will not open now here's the story I was told I was told that when he first bought this car, had an issue with the transmission, uh, I can't remember, oh, the seal. The seal was leaking, uh, transmission seal. So, transmission seal was leaking, so he took it to a well-known garage, that's a big, pretty big garage, and they pulled the transmission, and they said his torque converter was bad. So I replaced the torque converter, ended up messing it up somehow. And they had to buy him another transmission. 
and it's a remanufactured transmission. They put it in right after he bought it in 2013, and he's drove it, but the transmission that came in the car is still in the back of the car. He put it in the back. So, uh, so although it shifts good and all that stuff right now, uh, it does have another transmission in the trunk. There's no rust under the bottom. Okay, you ready? Let's do a drum roll. Thirty thousand two hundred and eighty-five miles on a nineteen sixty-four model car. This was a one-owner grandpa car. You can see the seat's not bad. It's just got the stain right here. I'm gonna try to get that stain out, but still got the little hump right here and a hump right there to hold you in, keep you from sliding over. The windows and all work good. I haven't started it, but I'm going to. Door shut up, so good. Uh, spider webs and whatever, you know. Oh, look, an ashtray in the back of the seat. Like I said, I gave a little more for this car than the other cars that I've been buying because I thought, what the heck? You know what? I want a, I want a nice car for once. Something I don't have to do body work on. Maybe something I can just wash. Now, it does have this. This is the only rust I've found. And it's right here. Can look it's not anywhere else underneath or nothing but all the, the, the you know the quarter panels are in good shape it just needs a good cleaning and of course the window rubbers you know it could use those to being replaced now it's got dual exhaust on it i've got a receipt in 2013 he had dual exhaust put on this car and it's got like, not flow masters, but what looks like flow master mufflers. And the exhaust looks brand new. I mean, if you looked under the car, the exhaust looks brand new. Now we're gonna try to find the key, the oh, Look at these keys, how, how nice they look. I know the round ones fit the trunk. Look how clean that is. And there's no rust back here like mine on my Fairlane. I do notice the trunk does not want to stay up for some reason. There's the transmission that came out of it. It's a two-speed automatic. Let's see what we got here. Oh, there's a radio. Maybe, maybe it came out with a radio. I don't know. There's a nice-looking radio and a speaker and there's another glove box maybe that's maybe that's out of another car nineteen sixty four Ford air cleaner decal I 
don't know what the gas tank looks like either. But there's floor mats that came out of it. See those green ones? And uh, there's the spare tire, which, gosh, it's seen better days. But that's the kind of tires that come on this car. And the jack and all that stuff. It needs a good cleaning. that's what we got folks i bought it it's mine i'm gonna get it running i get it driving i'll we'll try to take it to a car show just as a survivor car take it to a car show this weekend as a matter of fact we got one in our our little town of manila arkansas which is down the road and uh we'll see how it does of course, it's just going to be, it's not going to be cleaned up like it should be, but we'll work on it, get it running and all that stuff. But that's what we got. I'll show you more when I get through washing it. got the fair lane in the shop I washed it off uh, the best I could with a high-pressure washer at the car wash and you can see it's got a lot of oxidation still on it there's uh, I don't know whether to try to wash that with Dawn dishwashing liquid before I start trying to polish it I did try spot on the fender uh, just just to see what it would do if I just uh, started polishing it. And I was polishing it by hand, but you notice the top is a different, it's just got a shine to it where the bottom don't. I don't know if that was the original paint and they painted it from here down and that's why it oxidized like that. And the original paint held up better. But uh, there's what we got. Stain in the seat, I tried something and then it, it just didn't come out yet. So I'm gonna have to try something else. I sprayed some stuff on it last night. I ain't gonna tell you what I sprayed, but 
I uh, took the breather off of it just to see what kind of carburetor it had. I knew it had a carburetor similar to the Fairlane we did. Uh, we've overhauled several of these. Uh, did wash the engine off and all that. But there's what we got. Now those tires that's on this thing are Michelin's. And I don't see any weather cracks, but they've been on there since 2013. So I think they'll be fine. There's the spot I did polish on the fender just by hand. Uh, I'm gonna have to go buy a new buffer today. My buffer just kicked it. It went to, it went, my buffer pooped out on me. Uh, so I'm gonna have to go get a new one. But you can see it's still not a beautiful shine like it should be, like, like up here. Now I did polish this a little bit by hand, just this one little spot, just to see what it would look like. Now that looks pretty good, but that right there still, still doesn't look clean enough. Paint chip. That doesn't look good enough for me. And uh, I noticed this right here. That tells me that right here, there used to be a radio antenna. Now I did see the radio in the back and I saw the delete plate on, on the dash. It makes me wonder if this thing had a radio and they took it out. I don't know. Maybe that, maybe it had a cover there. That's what I'm up there on the, uh, on the fender. Maybe it had some kind of a, a cover, like a, a plug from the factory, I don't know. What do you guys think? That's where I figured the antenna was. And they might have had a plug. So. But all in all, it turned out, there's one rust spot on it. I mean, one tiny little rust spot. And it's back over here. I'll show it to you. There it is. You saw that yesterday in the, when I filmed it when I first bought it and brought it in. But I'm gonna say it's 99.9% .9 rust free. 99.99%, how about that? Okay, so Flash is on his way over here and uh, he wants to help me with his car and we're gonna see what we can do to it. All right, first thing we're gonna do is take this battery off. I'm not sure if I wanna keep this, so I think I'm just gonna go ahead and take this off. Let's get this battery off. Okay guys, what do you think about this? This rubber here, this mounts like this and, oh, no wonder, see it was broke right there. That's why I didn't think it was making a very good connection because this is broke. That's just a piece to put up, I guess, for, uh, for conversation. I'll just leave that alone like that and put that up somewhere where I'll never find it again. That'll work. There, I'll never find that again, you know that. Okay, this is a pretty good sized battery here. I really don't need to be picking up on that because of my back. I should wait till Flash gets here to help me, but I don't work like that. Nope, that's not me.
Okay, let's see if we can hurt her back. Get this battery out of here. Okay, we're gonna take the top off the breather and find out what kind of air filter we got. It looks, looks fine. It's a paper filter and it's not rotted, so we're just gonna leave that alone. It does have a few bugs inside the fil filter housing and uh, I don't know what else that is. I guess this was a good idea at the time to make an air filter housing, a breather housing like this, but I don't think it's that good of an idea now. I'm gonna leave it on it though, because I mean, that's part of it. That's part of the way it was born, you know what I mean? By the way, this car was born a Ford. Now you can't put Chevrolet emblems on it and make it a Chevrolet. Because everybody knows. They look at it and they say, I know that's a Chevrolet. I know that's a Ford. I know that's a Ford. It's got Chevrolet emblems on it, but it's still a Ford. But I can call it a, I can call it a Chevrolet all day long if I want to. That's the way I look at life. Okay, I made a little run to the parts store. I don't know if this is going to help or not. I bought some of this uh, BC One. It says base coat, clear coat, cleaner, polisher. Removes oxidation and scratches. I don't know if that'll work on the paint job I've got. But got me a couple of brushes and a, and a new buffer because my buffer was just about dead. I got a blemish battery, which that's what I buy. <clears throat> Those are good batteries. You can get them like 150 bucks. And they've always done a good job for me inline fuel filter and a fuel filter for the uh, the fuel pump. Fuel pump's got a canister on the bottom of it you screw off. And this is a cartridge filter that just drops right in. Hopefully the fuel pump will work. We don't know. We're going to find out once we uh, start working on it. All right. Okay, that'll do it. Okay, good enough. Check the oil. Right on the money, full, and it's clean. That's good. 
Okay, let's uh, let's see if it'll turn over. Clear, prop. Yes. Okay, all right. Okay, the engine turns over. Uh, we'll uh, check the spark, see if there's any spark. Okay, we got points in, we got a condenser, we got gas in the carburetor, uh, new battery. Let's try it, see what it does. Ready, Flash? Yes, sir, ready. spark plugs or nothing in it in a bunch, bunch of years. Get some feeling gauges. What did it sit on? About 15? No, about, no, about 20. 24. That that much? Oh yeah. I, I'm just guessing. I don't okay. know. Alright, there's 24 up there. Key off, man. I don't know. I'll turn it off. I turned the key off and I mean Yeah, it's off. Okay. Well, you got a way wide. Okay. I mean not what uh, I got them too too, too 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 tight or too close. Ooh, been torn in a hundred years. I know she got a little water leak too, right somewhere out here. Or, or did you, you wash that though, did you? I washed it. I don't know if that's what it is go, or not. Go ahead and fire it up. Okay. Sounds better already.
points were too wide. That's what, what was causing it. Sounds like it's hitting now. Sounds much better. Got a little. Yeah. Like a little, but I mean. It's been sitting 13 years and needs oil changed, don't it? Right. What are you doing? Trying to shine her up right there? I'm trying to figure out. That looks like a lot of elbow work. I got that, that new buffer. Maybe it'll make quick work of it. There it is, everybody. She sounds pretty good. That water, I hope that that water right down in there is where I washed it yesterday. Can you still see something there? Back there. That ain't good. We'll check the transmission fluid on it. See what that says. It's transmission fluid. Okay, me and Flash got the master cylinder changed. Got it running good. We're gonna drive it down the road. The brakes are sticking just a little bit. We don't know if that's gonna heal itself or not. All right. Back out of there, Flash. Let's, uh... Turn to the left, left. We'll find out what the brake problem is here in just a little bit. You let off the brake to kind of stick. Could be the Rubber hoses going to the wheels, we don't know. Flash, it could be those rubber hoses going to them wheels being collapsed. It's like a Chevrolet does. Okay. I think right there is your problem. All right. First drive since 2013. I think it's the rubber hoses in the front not releasing the brake fluid. It's probably gonna squeal the tires when you hit your brakes. Because the brakes are already down. Yeah, and it'll, they'll probably be smoking. There's your problem. I bet you $100 that the shaft's too long. Somebody's probably put the wrong one on it. I bet you $100 it ain't. The speedometer works. Drive it like it ain't got no brakes, so don't even hit the brakes. Cause I don't want to get off down here and thing be locked up. We're dirty folks. This old green drive like a dream. Dead possum in the middle of the road. Feel like you're 18 years old again, Flash? Yep. Tires. 
Well, he said he changed them in 2013. Put new ones on it. What about it not doing no more 50? Yeah, just turn around down here. We'll go back to the house. No, just uh, on down there to Crossroads. No, Crossroads right here. All right, go on down to State Line. Let's see if it gets hot. It's, it's getting hot, ain't it? It's over on the P on temperature. Pulls to the right. You hit your brakes. clattering of course it could be the timing it's a dog ain't it for that Bit of shimmy. I think it's because them brakes are sticking. Tires. The brakes are sticking on the front. I bet if we jacked the front end of it up, tried to roll that tire, you couldn't turn it. And you loosen off on that master cylinder. If you can turn it, it's the master cylinder. But if you can't, if you, if you still can't turn it with a brake master cylinder loosened. It's going to be the hoses going to the to the front brakes. I'm going to do that. We need to do it outside. It's hot in that shop. I got an air conditioner. With the motor on. Oh, it don't matter. Sounds good, it's not noisy, it's quiet. You can pull it up right here and stop it and we'll just do it right here. I'm down on them brakes pretty hard and they're still trying to roll. You know what I'm saying? Okay. All right, as you can see right here, I've already tried a little spot. We're gonna try to buff this thing out. I don't know if we can do it or not, but the top of it's in good shape. But this is all oxidized here, so we're just going to see what we can do with it. Come on, let's do it. I don't know if you've ever tried any of this or not. I have it. Removes oxidation and scratches. Let's see. Can't hurt it, I know that. Try a little bit of this new finish. Best selling car polish. We'll see. Let's break out the old turtle wax. Let's see what that does.
Wow, that's really bad. It is really, really oxidized bad. I don't know if that's going to come out or not. Okay, I found some of this. Premium polishing compound for professional results. That's what I need. We're going to try that. No, that's not bad. It didn't take long to do that. I don't think it's going to come out slick like a new paint job. I think it's just going to put a shine on it. And you're going to see imperfections underneath the shine. Okay, it looks like going over it one time <clears throat> will be the same as going over it two or three times. It's just not going to make that much difference. I can't see any difference in this where I went over, over it with several times or that. So we're just going to do it like we did at the top there. Do the whole car like that. Give it a little bit of shine and let you see the imperfections in the sunlight. But, oh well. It looks better than it did. Okay, I'm out here this morning at 5.30 a.m. Worked on it last night until about 10 o'clock. You can see uh, little spots in the paint that's like uh, there and there, I've buffed it and buffed it and buffed it. I did this whole side, except for the front fender. Looks a lot better. You can see inside this door handle I need to do by hand. But, uh, and then like around this mirror. That's the difference in it. That's what it looked like and that's what it looks like now after buffing it. So it went from this to this. And this was a booger. That hood was so oxidized. And you can see all the little spots like, uh, see those spots right there? That stuff is not coming out. That's, that's pretty much the best it's gonna get with me doing it. And by the way, my wife came in. She's been in a conference all week. She came in and the first thing she said was, that is nice. And I said, yeah, yeah. I said, I, I'll probably, you know, uh, be able to sell this. And, and she said, okay. Uh, and I said, why, do you want it? Yeah. And I said, okay. All right, I said, okay, it's yours then. She said, why don't you just sell your 67 Fairlane and we keep this one to drive? Because we plan on doing a Route 66 trip in the Fairlane. It doesn't have air conditioning. And this don't either, but this is a little better car than the Fairlane as far as comfort. Um, I just got to get it, everything ready so we can take our little trip. But we're planning on doing that this summer. That's our little vacation. See the difference in that and that? I washed the whole car with Joy dishwashing liquid. Uh, it was try I was trying to get the, uh, the oxidation off and it was, it was uh, making my pad sticky. My pad was just getting covered with that stuff. So after I waxed it, I went ahead and went back over it again with uh, Joy dishwashing liquid. And it took it off pretty much so I, could, so I could buff it. And I buffed it and buffed it and buffed it. Now, I hadn't got this part. I just got tired last night. But uh hadn't got this side yet. I got I got to do f this whole side. I got to do some spots on the hood. And then I'm going to go over it with turtle wax 
here's how I fixed my little problem with the windshield. That's rubber. No more water leaking down in there, so. Looks like that'll hold. We'll find out and get their car wash. Now the top did do good. It's just as smooth as a baby's butt. But uh, like I say, I think the paint down here, I think this car was repainted from here down and that is the original top. So anyway, folks, we're gonna, we're gonna enter it in a car show. We got a car show coming up Saturday. Today is Friday. And we're going to take it and the 67 Fairlane to a car show. I'm just going to clean this thing up the best I can. Sonia and myself are going to clean it. And she's she's been working on it. I mean, she, she's in love with this thing. Let me show you what she did. Remember the sun visors were all tore up? Well, she took some hot glue and kind of glued them back together and then some uh, clear plastic tape until we can get some more. And then, oh, oh, well, she took some cleaner and tried to clean the stain. It looks better though, I gotta say that. We're gonna buy some stain cleaner today and, uh, and try that and we'll see if we can get the stain out of it. Okay, everybody, we just got back from the car show at the Blazing Barbecue Festival in downtown Manila, Arkansas. Had a car show and barbecue out the wazoo. I'm so full of barbecue, I can't eat no more. And uh, we didn't win anything. We took the fair lane, the 64 fair lane. My wife's car. <laughs> Didn't last, did it? Now, I was gonna sell that, but my wife comes first. So, uh, went to the Blazing Barbecue Festival and a lot of people saw the car, gave us some compliments, you know, so all in all, it was a pretty good day. They only gave out three awards. And it was like the uh, Mayor's Award, the Fire Chief's Award, and the People's Choice Award, which I'm far from any of that. And most of my friends are too. But we had a good time. And uh, I'm going to show you the car after we finish with it. Still need some work on it. We're going to put tires on it. New tires. And I'm going to put some different rims. Take those hubcaps off. Uh, got some front end suspension work to do on it. Because the bushings are, are rotted. So we're going to replace those. Get the front end lined on it. And uh, a few more things. The windshield's still leaking, even though I put that little bit of glue stuff on it, that little uh, silicone sealer. I got up this morning, the, the seat was wet because it rained last night and I left it outside. But... There's the tag I found in the back of it. 64 Ford. Thought we'd put that on there. But uh, we cleaned it up the best we can clean it up. All I did was wash the motor off and as you can see, it could use some detailing. But we're going to just drive it. So uh, I'm not going to be detailing under the hood. There is our wax job after working on it for like, I'm going to say a good day washing it, and, I mean, uh, waxing it, and buffing it, and cleaning it. Uh, the paint, I'm gonna say uh, one to 10, it's probably a six. I'll just say it's a six. And we are thinking about maybe later getting it repainted, since we're gonna keep it. Still see a stain in the seat? That is from last night because we pretty much cleaned it all out. Got that stain off of there, and doggone if we didn't get it again. But uh, look what I won today.
uh, our bank was giving away a cooler and I signed up for it at the Blazing, at the Blazing Barbecue Festival. And I won it. So I got an Arctic cooler. That'll be good for when we take our little road trip in this car later this year. But uh, there she is. It went from, let's see, Tuesday when we started to work on it, trying to get it running. And Wednesday, Thursday, Friday, uh, we didn't work on it all day. You know, we just worked on it when I felt like it, buffing it and cleaning it up. And there's a lot of spots we missed. But you, you know, there's a lot of spots that you can't fix. Like this, these water spots or whatever they are. But it cleaned up pretty good for what we got in it. We are real happy with it. The old Fairlane just sitting in the, in the garage today because after, after having that, look at this, I'm going to sell this. I'm going to sell my Fairlane. If anybody wants it, first come, first serve, 6000 bucks. And it's got the original six-cylinder motor in it. Fires up, runs good. It's just got the... Like, you know, guys, that you've probably seen my videos. It runs good and it drives out good. All the front end's new, uh, new shocks and all this new stuff I put on it, brakes and wheel cylinders, all that stuff. I just, uh, I'm tired of it. I've had it so long, I don't want to paint it, and it does need painting. The clear coat I put over it is just one coat, a light coat. It'll keep it from rusting. I don't know if you've seen the inside of this thing or remember what it looked like, but it's it's really a nice car. I had all these seats recovered, new door panels, new carpet. But that's it. I'm gonna I'm gonna sell it. I don't need it. I need the money to uh, fund my YouTube channel to go out and buy more cars, and maybe I can get a little better cars. You know, if I have a little more money in my pocket. That's going to wrap it up for this week on this video. I appreciate you guys watching. And I thank you for subscribing. I'll catch you on the next video. God bless you. Bye.